you see a narcissist do this, run. We all like to look after ourselves and there is nothing wrong with that. It is very important for us to practice self-care, to take action to preserve or improve our own health, to protect our own well-being and happiness. We might practice good hygiene, eat a balanced diet, or seek medical care when needed. These are the things we have to do to stay physically healthy. It doesn't mean we're being selfish. It just means that we're taking care of ourselves so that we can be healthy. So that we can do our jobs and help and care for other people. The problem is the narcissist takes this to extremes. They take this to another level. Narcissists can be very high maintenance. They can require a lot of money or attention to maintain their appearance. They might require frequent professional cosmetic consultations, such as hairdressing, manicures and pedicures. They might engage in excessive spending on things that don't have any real value or meaning. They will have expensive taste in clothing or restaurants. They will never feel comfortable because they're constantly concerned about their appearance. They're constantly concerned about not having the standard that they require. Nothing is ever good enough for them. They feel as though they are better than most people and usually judge people based on outward appearances, based on their surface qualities only rather than their inner feelings or mental state. They will constantly need to be the centre of attention. They can require a high emotional investment. They will constantly need to excite everyone's interest or concern. They will be emotionally needy. They will be prone to over-dramatizing a situation to gain attention. These types of narcissists who are high maintenance can be very difficult to deal with. They're never satisfied. Nothing is ever good enough for them. Yet they will be very needy and demanding. They will need constant emotional support. They will make you work very hard to meet the high standards. They will be nagging, complaining, criticizing, grumbling, fault finding and moaning. They will constantly harass you to do something that you are averse to. There will be constant protests and demands. And they will be very persistent in doing this to the point where it becomes very annoying. They will insist and demand on something without allowing you to refuse their idea or proposal. They will be very possessive. They will demand your total attention and love. 
They will demand your time, energy, and money. They will be very greedy. They will have an excessive desire or appetite. But they will show an unwillingness to share their possessions. They will be very selfish. They will lack consideration for you. They will be more concerned with their own profit or pleasure, which is likely to be at your expense. These types of narcissists can be very insecure. They require constant reassurance. They need people to remove their doubts or fears. Because they lack certainty about a personal situation. They feel as though they are always at risk of danger or harm. They can be paranoid and hypervigilant. Nothing is ever good enough for them. They always want more. They spend most of their time seeking entertainment or distraction from reality. They spend a lot of their time and money on clothes, hair, makeup and beauty treatments. They need expensive homes, cars, clothes and vacations. But they cannot fund this lifestyle on their own, which is what makes them so dangerous. Because they will seek out someone to provide them with this lifestyle. Someone to cater to their demands. When a high maintenance narcissist is seeking a target. There are certain qualities and traits that they are looking for. It has to be someone who is successful or attractive. Someone who is powerful or influential. Someone who has means. Someone who has the ability to influence and direct the course of events. But even though they may target this type of person. It doesn't mean that they want them to be in control. The narcissist always has to be the one that's in control. They have to maintain influence and authority over you. Because if you were the one that was in control, you would be able to enforce limitations and regulations. You would be able to compel observance or compliance with a rule or obligation. And then they wouldn't be able to take up all of your time. To use up all of your energy and emotions. To spend all of your money. Which would then put them in a very unfavorable situation. Because narcissists that are high maintenance have this itch that they can't scratch. They have a restless desire to do something. They are very eager and impatient. In their minds, their excessive demands are normal. They see it as though they're just trying to look after themselves. They're just trying to practice self-care or improve their own health.
they either don't see what it's doing to you or they just don't care because they're too preoccupied with their own desires or interests they're insatiable they have an appetite and desire that is impossible to satisfy nothing is ever enough for them and you will find yourself running endlessly on this hamster wheel trying to serve them while getting nowhere you will just be running yourself into the ground losing an excessive amount of money and by the end you'll have nothing to show for it they're not even going to acknowledge everything you did for them they're not going to appreciate it in the end they're still going to feel like it's you that owes them because they have a strong sense of entitlement they have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance and in their minds it is your duty to cater to their needs it is your duty to meet their demands they will never be happy they will never be satisfied with anything you do for them they will always want more which is why if you see a narcissist who is high maintenance who does require a lot of money and attention to maintain their appearance who does require frequent professional cosmetic consultations who does have an expensive taste in clothing or restaurants you really need to get yourself out of there because it's never going to end well they're just going to chew you up and spit you out they're going to use and partake in everything that you have to offer until you have nothing left to give and then they're going to ridicule you they're going to subject you to con contemptuous and dismissive language or behavior because narcissists really are like spoiled children they believe they should be allowed to do or have anything they want to the point where they behave badly and don't show any respect to you and that is why as soon as you see these behavioral traits in the narcissist you really need to get yourself out of there you need to run away and never look back thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate my PayPal link 
it's in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.